Just like there are no sleazy law students, there are no corrupt governments, right? So if you sign a lucrative contract to buy surplus government property, you assume the government acquired the stuff legally and has a right to sell it to you. But suppose there's a change of administration. The new guys tell you that the old guys were crooks, and so the government's not going to honor their contract with you. Are you going to take that lying down? Not if you're familiar with Fletcher versus Peck. Georgia controlled the huge swath of Indian territory that was later carved into Alabama and Mississippi. In 1795, land speculators bribed Georgia legislators into granting them this land for less than two cents an acre, a steal even back then. One of those speculators sold his new property to John Peck, and Robert Fletcher signed a contract to buy the land from him. In 1796, a new legislature repudiated the old legislature's shenanigans, repealed the 1795 law, and attempted to rescind the land grants. Fletcher sued Peck to get out of their contract. In fact, both Fletcher and Peck were probably scoundrels and certainly in cahoots with each other. Their interests were actually the same. But when the circuit court ruled in Peck's favor and against Fletcher, Fletcher took his case to the Supreme Court. 